it's Heidi with Nest Pretty. I am the author of the Nest Pretty Lifestyle Guide. It's all about making small choices every day that add up to a beautiful life. I am in the process of changing out my wardrobe from the summer season to the fall season. And coincidentally, I it, co it um, coincides with me needing to pack for a trip. And so coincidentally, I am using as a outline for my next season, <clears throat> the how to pack for a trip of any length. And that is going to be my capsule wardrobe, my very small capsule wardrobe for the next season. So what that consists of is uh, just a few items. And these are what are listed here. A dressy jacket, two to four shirts, two bottoms, socks, and you know, foundational pieces. PJs, a swimsuit, a sweater, a dressy pair of shoes, a pair of walking shoes, flip-flops, and a belt. So basically what is hanging here is going to be my little, um, my little capsule wardrobe for the trip. <laughs> so the first thing I like to do when I'm packing for a trip is of course check the weather. What is their highs and lows going to be and what type of precipitation will be involved? And then I work really hard to make sure I'm going to be warm enough because I don't want to be cold wherever I go. Um, the other thing I think about, of course, is what kind of activities am I going to be doing? And so then I pack accordingly. One thing I love to do is draw out my little um, packing list. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a tiny little creative process that I like to do and it helps me to visualize as well what I want to take with me. So basically I'm in the middle of three things, pulling out my summer clothes, deciding on the next season, and packing at the same time. I love having this little rack on wheels. I have it in my laundry room for when I'm hanging up items that I don't want to dry in the dryer and I easily brought it in here and so I've been using it to stage all of the things and I just love having it. So I hope this helps you. I hope that you consider, just consider, uh, using a small capsule wardrobe for the next season as an experiment. I'm here to say that the more decisions you make in advance, the less headspace getting dressed takes and it really does affect your day. It really does affect the way you start your day. And I highly recommend it. I am <clears throat> kind of at a little crossroads though because I have a coaching client and we're working on um, her colors and that's making me reconsider mine as well. I know that color is so important for how we look. And in the past, I did get my colors done way back in the day when there was a um, counter you could go up to and then they would drape colors for you. And I have my colors right here. And I have basically abandoned most of my colors just for simplicity's sake. But doing this little deep dive is inspiring me. <laughs> so I'm kind of like, hmm, you know, considering some things. And that's where it all starts, with an idea. And we'll see where it goes. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm a closet coach. I don't know if you know that. I help women to curate a wardrobe she loves so that getting dressed is a dream. It's a... It's a, it's a non-thing. It's just a wonderful process. Way to start your day. 
If you wonder what it's like to work with me, you can grab the free training in my bio. It's five days and it takes you step by step how to get started curating a wardrobe you love. Check it out. I hope you have a fantastic evening. We'll talk soon. Bye.